Farewell, Raoul. I will fulfill my promise to you. The Star of Death has fallen on Toki's head. It, it's over. You can't hurt me. Farewell, Toki. I know the secret of your iron fist. This! He pressed his own sekako. That vital point lets one use the iron fist for a limited time. But, cruelly, it also drains one's own life at the same time. You are getting weaker by the moment, brother. You cannot defeat me. You knew I saw through you, and yet you fought on. You... You're crying. Raoul. But you gave up your tears in favor of unbridled ambition. It's you, Toki. Even as you face certain death, you still kept trying to overcome me. You, my brother, brought the tears back to my parched soul. I have no regrets. Give me my final destiny. Farewell, my greatest adversary. Farewell, my beloved brother. This is it. The fist of your brother. The fist you try to overcome. Oh, 
Loki, the man who dreamed of overcoming me, is no more. All that is left is a man fighting a terrible illness. Take care of yourself, Toki. With so many warriors already dead and buried, Rao was but one step away from total domination. Only Kenshiro remained to challenge him. But like the ever-changing clouds in the sky, time marched forward. At last, the final Nanto master rose up and allied with Kenshiro to oppose Rao's forces. The five chariot guardians at their master's command stood before Rao, blocking his path to glory. Rao was ready to crush all who stood in his way. He was ready to destroy this last rival with his own two hands. As his army prepared for battle, the stars in the southern sky grew dimmer. Chooser of the clouds, why would you dare to stand in my way? What can I say? I like to be unpredictable. Chapter 5, The Last Stand of Nanto. Even the gods quake in fear before the power of my fists.
the Hokto will not prevail. This world belongs to the last Nanto general. The last Nanto general? So the time has come at last. <laughs>